Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to show you how to clean your glass induction cooktop with nothing but a few things you probably already have laying around your house. <laughs> so you ready? Let's get into this. Here's my cooktop. I made it nice and dirty for you. Full disclosure, I never let it get this way. This is just for the video. What you're going to need is a clean microfiber towel. If you're using one that you've already washed, make sure you haven't washed it with any kind of fabric softener. If it's got any of that in there, it's going to make the surface really streaky, so you want to avoid that. Next, you're going to need a non-scratch scrub sponge. Be really careful with these. You've got to get the non-scratch type. You don't want to use anything abrasive on your glass cooktop. That means no regular scrub pads, no steel wool, no harsh chemicals like Comet, nothing like that. I've been using these since I got my range and it's worked out really well so far. The only other thing you need is some regular dish soap. Blue Dawn actually works the best, but I don't have any of that right now, so we're just going to use whatever. First thing you want to do is run your faucet so you have some nice hot water. Once that gets hot, go ahead and saturate the sponge really good and put a pretty liberal amount of this dish soap on it. Then we go ahead and use this to scrub our cooktop. You don't have to really pre-rinse it or anything like that. I would try cleaning with the regular sponge part if you can. If you have the right scrub sponges, this isn't going to hurt the surface. So if you got caked on stuff like I've got right here, you'll probably end up using this side. So you're just going to wipe the surface down in circular patterns and make sure you get every part of the cooktop here. You don't want to put a ton of pressure on this. You only want to scrub it as hard as you really need to. And you'll be able to tell just by listening to it and feeling how much resistance there is to your sponge. Once it's gliding over this nice and smooth, you know that there's nothing stuck to the cooktop surface. Once you got it about like that, go ahead and let it sit for about a minute. Then you go ahead and rinse out all the soap from your sponge. And wring it out really good. And then just use the sponge portion just to pick up as much of that soap as you can. Depending on how much you got on there, it might take a couple of passes here between here and the sink. All right, once you got that soap pretty much removed, you can go ahead and dry this with your microfiber towel. The key, like I said before, is to make sure this doesn't have any type of fabric softener floating around in it. Otherwise, your results can be pretty crappy. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about Joe's Phenomenal, you can watch a couple more videos or you can check us out online at joesphenomenal.com. Ta-da! Pretty easy, isn't it? Glass cooktops are really easy to keep clean. The key is to make sure you keep on top of it so it never gets really dirty. You don't want to let it get to the point where you start burning stuff onto it or having to scrub really hard because that's when you start doing damage to your cooktop. Do you have a different way you like to clean yours? Well, let us know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. I thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your busy day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me and I can't wait to see you back again here really soon. So until that time, I'm Joe and I hope you have a phenomenal day. Take it easy.